The sweep command converts 2D objects into cylindrical three-dimensional objects. Today we will cover the basics of creating sweeps. Start with a two-dimensional profile object and go to Model, Sweep. Without making any changes, click OK. The 2D objects will always sweep to the left on the screen. If you wish to control the central axis of the sweep, add a locus point to determine the point of rotation for the profile. Sweeping from a different view, such as an isometric view, will change the orientation of the sweep. If you wish to adjust the rotation point after the sweep is created, simply double-click the sweep to get into the editing window. Here you will have the ability to adjust the radius of the sweep by moving the locus point either closer or farther away from the object. Be sure when placing the locus point not to place it within the bounds of the object as this will cause the command to fail since the sweep will overlap into itself. By applying a pitch to the sweep, you have the ability to create a spiral. Keep in mind while applying the pitch that the height of the pitch is in addition to not including the height of your current object. Increasing the radius will create a looser spiral or by reducing it you can create a tighter one. Although very useful, sweeps can be intimidating to work with initially. Once mastered, they can become an invaluable 3D modeling tool. Thank you for joining us for today's video tech tip. Be sure to check us out at kbase.vectorworks.net for additional tech tips and how-tos.